Still in local news, Moody's Investor Service has placed Sri Lanka among the countries in the world with the largest fall in value of their currencies against the US dollar in 2018 and stressed that the implementation of reforms that address both fiscal and external imbalances will remain key to supporting sovereign credit profile of the country. Moody's has a B1, a speculative grade rating on Sri Lanka, with a negative outlook due to the country's high government debt, very low debt affordability and fragile external payment position. Sri Lanka was ranked 12th out of 15 sovereigns with the largest year-to-date currency depreciations. Year-to-date, the Sri Lankan rupee has depreciated by about 13.5% and at 174 rupees and 45 to 60 cents per dollar on Monday compared with previous close of 174 rupees and 30 to 50 cents. Argentine peso is the worst hit currency to date with its value falling by close to 50%. Meanwhile, South Asian Pakistan was the worst hit with its rupee falling in value by 15% year to date. Indian rupee ranks next to the Sri Lankan rupee with about a 14% fall in its value against the dollar. Many developed countries in today's world would agree that investing in education and technology is imperative to sustainable economic growth and development. For example, it's hard to find another country in the world that places greater emphasis on education than South Korea. By some measures, South Korea is the most educated country in the world. Today, the country has achieved universal adult literacy, estimated to range between 98 and 100 percent, and the tertiary gross enrollment ratio stands at a lofty 93 percent as of 2015. The country grew tremendously over the past 50 years and now boasts of an impressive GDP of 1.531 trillion US dollars in 2017. The percentage of GDP spent on education annually is estimated at nearly 5%. Another stunning example of the importance of the education system and investing in the people is Singapore. It has a remarkably similar success story to South Korea, boasting an annual GDP of 323.9 billion US dollars. In 2015, the country was spending 9,209,148 point zero four US dollars on education. Sri Lanka, on the other hand, has a GDP of 87.17 billion US dollars in 2017 and spends only about 2.18% of GDP on education. Regardless of the fact that Sri Lanka has the highest reported youth literacy rate in South Asia at 98.77% as compared to 89.66% in India and 83.2% in Bangladesh in 2012, of about 60% of students passed the GCE advanced level examination, only about 17% were admitted into a university level institution according to the University Grants Commission. This shortage of tertiary and higher education must be solved if we are to enjoy the same sustainable economic growth of South Korea and Singapore in the coming years.